consummation of the newlyweds is proceeding smoothly, under the watchful eyes of the royals and nobles. Queen Mary's ladies in waiting watch with curiosity and embarrassment as she makes out with her husband. But Mary is distracted by the sight of her old flame, so her husband has to arouse her with more intense kisses and actions. It must have been a long ordeal for Sebastian, who had to watch the woman he loved make love to his brother. Two months ago, a letter from the Pope made Queen Mary see herself clearly enough to abandon Sebastian and marry the man she loved. Queen Mary and Crown Prince Francis kneeled before God, signed the marriage contract, and vowed to spend the rest of their lives together. Then they gazed at each other with affection amidst the fluttering petals. The white wedding dress swirling with the shadows foretold that they would be intertwined with trouble and happiness. The two-month honeymoon and the time they spent away from intrigue, politics, and murder were sorely missed by the young couple. Unsurprisingly, as the two of them returned to their routine at court, the topic of having children was inevitable. For starters, Queen Catherine is an expert poisoner, 